Hello boys and girls, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I have actually have done three videos and I hit technical problems with each one of them. Uh, using my microphone right here, I discovered it's picking up a fluorescent light hum. And hopefully this camera isn't, maybe this, I'm using the built-in mic in the camera. Uh, and then another time I took this long video and I had my computer up in the background with you know emails and stuff and I didn't want to put that out on the internet and I tried blocking it all uh, it was just a mess so I've actually been trying to do some videos I shot this video already and the microphone battery was dead which you don't know until you go to listen to it and then you find out your battery's dead and golly what a headache you know so we're going to try this one again number four uh what i want to talk about today briefly is how i evaluate a guitar for scalloping so this is a 1971 d28 it has standard um non-scalloped braces i have replace the bridge plate in it because you know it had the big bridge plate and I think this one even had a doubler on it um, I can't remember if it's this one or the other one but in any case I put a new bridge plate in it small black locust on this guitar we're talking about whether or not we want to scallop it so what I noticed when I was doing the bridge plate you know and I'm pulling on it and things like that the top on this guitar is pretty soft and it's kind of a feel thing there's not a measurement for this uh, but that's okay because a lot of this stuff is instinct uh, intuition and just feel sort of thing but what I do is basically push on the top of the guitar right here it's on the bench and everything so don't panic because I'm pushing on the guitar you guys are calming on me leaning on the neck and stuff I don't really lean on the neck it's supported over here there's no problem with doing this okay but what you do you just kind of push on the top of the guitar right here and this is hard you're not going to pick this up on the video but if you do this to enough guitars and you will see the top flex so I'm going to get my hand on this bridge and I'm going to push and I can see that top moving that much maybe you know just a little and I'm thinking to myself this is a pretty soft top guitar when it has a soft top, it's going to naturally have a bassy, woofy sound to it. Um, and I don't want to get too bassy and too woofy. I definitely don't want to have the top belly up or anything. So, I'm kind of cautious about this one. Let's look at it from the side right here. Let's see if we can see that moving on here. You know, I don't know if you can pick that up on the video, but this top is moving. And I'm just putting, I don't know, you know, for a little bit of pressure on it. So, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, I wanna, I wanna definitely string this guitar up and play it a little bit before I go to scalloping it. I did an neck reset on it already. Normally I scallop first, then do the neck reset, but on this guitar, I wanted to see how it sounded, you know, playing and everything good to go. I've got a I'm going to have plenty of saddle so if the top does come up a little bit more after I scallop but if I scallop it I will have enough saddle to readjust that okay the danger is getting your saddle perfect and then you scallop it and then the top comes up a little bit and then now your saddle is too low so the other thing I do on these is just tap the top and I'm going to get another guitar here in a minute we're going to compare them okay it's hard for me to do them side by side I don't have the room and everything but you'll be able to go back and forth on the video and listen. So listen to this, or watch this top. See that flex? And then I'm gonna push the other parts of the guitar here. And it's got some damage here from pick damage. Um, it's got a little bit of a belly going on right here, even when it's unstrung. So to me that just says this is a soft top. But I'm gonna come back here and do the same thing. Just kind of push on that. And I can see that bridge moving. So we've got a soft top on this guitar. Second thing I'm going to do to it is tap it. So 
I'm gonna use my thumb. No, I'm gonna get the hammer. Let's get the little hammer so it's consistent. Piano hammer and just tap that. listening to here is the depth of the tone I'm not doing it for a specific tone I guess that is a specific tone but I'm not saying um, F sharp you know I'm just listening is that a deep tone a bright tone what kind of tone am I getting out of this top right here um, and that's gonna tell me again whether I want to go bassier because the reason I would scallop it is to make it bassier or deeper uh, it would improve the response a little bit, make it more sensitive to your picking hand volume and stuff like that. That's why you would be scalloping it. So, but the tone of the top kind of hints at that for me. So, and the X brace is right here. I can also feel how much air is moving here. It's definitely pushing air as I do that. And so I just kind of get a feel for that. It's nice if your hands aren't freezing to death, but. Okay, let me get the second guitar out and we will compare them. Here's your second guitar. Now this one's a D18, so it's gonna have a different tap tone um, but that's okay that's not what I'm listening for I'm listening for again the depth of that sound this one is unscalloped and I have done the bridge plate on this it has a stock bridge on it so this is a pretty comparable guitar as far as the fact that it's still got non scalloped braces it has my bridge plate on it and the mahogany back and sides won't make any difference in the flex of the top maybe a little bit you know because the sides give a little bit more but but it's pretty close. So on this top, I didn't see anything funny about it. It looked to me like a typically stiff, non scallop 70s tone. So here we go. So why didn't I scallop it, I wonder? Okay, I take that back. I did scallop the braces a little bit. But let's compare it. Even scalloped, watch this. It's like hardly moving at all. Um, you know, to my hands, that is a much, much stiffer feel much stiffer and then back here on the back I'm gonna push on that much much stiffer to me it's just not it's not going like this it's just kind of it's pretty stiff and that's with the scallop top so and I didn't scallop it all the way I just gave it like a partial scallop enough that I could do the neck reset on it and the tone bars are not scalloped at all right now so it's just stiff in here so that's fine. Much stiffer. Let's tap it. Okay, to me, this one has a much, much more even tone around here. With the D28, when I hit around in this area, woof 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 and then over here on the rim it was it was tighter and brighter pop 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 woof woof this guitar here is, is more even sounding to me um which is consistent with a stiff top it's almost as stiff right in here as it is over in here listen again a little bit of variation there you know Let's get the D28 again. No, you guys can go back and forth on that. So this guitar here, uh, I have no hesitation about scalloping it. And in fact, I'm gonna come in and do the tone bars on it after I get it strung up and I can play it. So that's just a general 
kind of seat of the pants feel for whether or not I'm going to scallop a guitar. Most 70s D, D's, 18s, 28s, 35, no, not 35s, 18s, 28s, I'm probably going to scallop them. This one is typical. The D28 is not typical. Again, when I was pulling the bridge plate, I watched that top go up and down like that. And when I had the plate off, then I could really push on it. I mean, it was soft. So, that's when I said, you know, let's string it up, play it, check it out, leave it strung for a couple of weeks with the new bridge plate. Um, and let's be cautious about scalloping on it. This one, I have no hesitation about scalloping. That top is almost it's flat. There's no distortion. There's no nothing going on there. Not going to have any qualms at all about scalloping this one. So. Okay, there you go.